Hello, I'm Bruce Bennett from AAA Metal Suppliers, and for the next few minutes, I'll show you how simple it is to install our System F stainless wire balustrading. This system is for use on timber or metal posts, both round or square. System F is easy to install on both types and works just as well on both. Let's have a look at the components that make up System F. On one end of the wire, an Allen key tensioner screws onto the terminal swage stud. The other end will have a flathead terminal swaged onto it. Also, a bevel washer can be fitted under the heads of the Allen key tensioners when System F is used for inclined balustrades, such as stair handrails. 9mm split grommets if desired, and finally, 316 marine grade stainless steel wire rope. In this case, we shall be using 3.2mm diameter 1x19 construction. Please note that System F is tensioned from the outside of the anchor post and may not be suitable for all requirements, as it will not accommodate intersecting wires. To begin, start by making a suitable drilling template from a scrap board. In this case, the template will be spaced at 80mm centres to comply with BCA regulations. After marking out the required number of 80mm spacings, mark the centre distance of these lines. In this case, a tri-square is being used to transfer the distance. Once you have marked out your drilling template, drill it out using a 7.5mm drill bit. This is the correct size for drilling into the intermediate posts, so the body of the terminal swage studs will pass through them. Measure the centre of your anchor posts, ready for attaching the drilling template. Again, we see a tri-square being used as just one example of how to transfer these distances. Clamp your drilling template onto the anchor post. Using a 7.5mm drill, we recommend drilling the anchor post for system F just past halfway and then relocating the drilling template on the other side of the anchor post. Continue to drill into your post until the hole runs all the way through, ready for the swaged wire to be passed through. Note, the 7.5mm diameter holes will need to be enlarged at a later stage to 8.5mm in diameter to accommodate the respective anchor fittings. But this only takes a moment and at this stage it is easier just to continue drilling every post using a 7.5 mm drill. For drilling the intermediate posts, first measure the centre of the post so the drilling template can be clamped correctly into position. Please note, if using pre-swaged wires, a 7.5 mm drill hole will be required to allow the wire stud end of the rigging screw to pass through. If you intend to use split grommets, you will need to drill with a 9mm drill bit to accommodate the 9mm diameter grommets. We always recommend drilling your intermediates just past halfway and then relocating the drilling template on the other side of the intermediate post. Once you have relocated the drilling template, continue to drill your post till the hole runs all the way through the intermediate, ready for the wire to be passed through. By drilling from both sides, you are more likely to have your wires enter and exit in the correct locations. To measure and cut the wires, 
begin by measuring the outside distance from anchor point to anchor point. From this measurement, deduct 75 millimetres. For example, if your outside measurement was 1800 millimetres, then you would need to cut your wires to a length of 1725 millimetres. By doing so, you will have the correct adjustment from the fittings to tension your wire. This still allows you an additional adjustment of 35 millimetres if required. If you are not using 80 millimetre terminal studs, check with us as to the correct length to cut your wire. Stainless wire rope is difficult to cut. Use a pair of parrot beak wire cutters to cut your wire to the correct length. Remember, it is good practice to cut only one wire at this stage, swage it and install it to check for any mistakes. To secure the wires to the studs, begin by turning the pump valve on the mini hydraulic swager clockwise. Place a terminal swage stud into the jaws of the mini hydraulic swager and start pumping until the jaws are just holding the terminal stud. Don't over pump at this stage or you will crush the terminal stud and you won't be able to push the wire all the way in. Push the wire firmly into the swage stud and then continue to pump until firm pressure is applied. The faces of the jaws do not have to touch to create a strong crimp. Turn the pump valve anti-clockwise about a quarter of a turn and allow the pressure to release. The jaws will come apart and you can remove the swage stud, which now has the wire firmly attached. When done properly, the tensile strength of the crimp should be approximately 800 kilograms. You should check the shape of your crimp against the test sample crimp supplied with the mini hydraulic swager. Let me now show you the swaging process again as I swage the flathead terminal onto the opposite end of the wire. Is that too jerky? No. Once you have hydraulically swaged a right hand threaded terminal onto one end and a flat head terminal onto the other end of each wire, you are ready to fit them. At one end in System F, the Allen key tensioner acts as both an anchor point and a tensioner when the terminal wire stud is screwed into it, whilst the flat head terminal acts as a stop end at the other end of the wire. From the outside of the post, push through the swage stud end until the swage terminal enters into the opposite post. Then push in the Allen key tensioner and rotate it clockwise until it just catches the wire stud. Hold the wire whilst you are doing this and rotate it about three or four turns to ensure you have not cross threaded the stud and the Allen key tensioner. Continue to rotate the Allen key tensioner until the wire is suitably tensioned. It only needs to be firm and not sagging, not piano wire tight. Be careful not to over tighten the wire as you can exert a tremendous amount of force on your posts if you try to make the wire too tight. Remember, to comply with BCA regulations, the wire rope only has to support a 2 kilogram weight without deflecting more than 5 millimetres from its horizontal position. To enhance the look of your balustrade, you may wish to fit our easy to use 9mm diameter split grommets. Open the grommet with a suitable implement, in this case we are using a pen. Hold it to the wire, remove the pen, slide the grommet along the wire and plug it into the post. It is easy to maintain a good surface finish on your wires and avoid possible discoloration by applying some car wax. This only takes a moment but gives months of protection. Remember, 
AAA Metal Suppliers for all your balustrading needs.